Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, here we go. Okay, can, can you hear me very well? Just let me know how you can hear me, please. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Okay, um, I'm still waiting for the rest of the class. It is a pleasure to see you again. We are going to continue with module two. But before uh, we start, I would like to ask you some questions. Les enviaron a, a través del de correo la guía o todavía no la tienen. Hola. En el correo, Tichén. Sí, les pregunto si, si la guía se las enviaron o todavía no la tienen. Yes, teacher. Sí. Ah, ok, perfecto, perfecto. Okay, um, let me see. I already got the, the attendance in order to check up. But let me do something first. Okay, let me see how many people I got 14 now. I got 14. Okay, before uh, we wait a little bit, let me introduce myself. My name is Max Lasso. I'm going to be uh, your tutor for this model. And I hope that all of you can understand exactly what I'm saying in order that we can uh, communicate in a, in a good way, okay? Somebody is driving. Be careful, Francisco Javier. If you're still driving.
get that an answer from you. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, because I'm 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 saying I'm telling you some um giving you some information and uh, and I I'm still waiting for your answer. Okay. Well, nice to see you, Carlos. Carlos, you are there again, Mayra. Uh, let me see. Well, the rest, Diana, Sandra, Esmeralda, Masalia. I don't know what is happening with your camera, Salia. A Salia, no sé qué le pasa a su cámara. Estaba viendo tres imágenes suyas. Eh, don Francisco Javier. Ahí vemos que va al volante. Cuidado. Mantenga solo el oído puesto. Eh, pero la mirada siempre al frente, al frente. Brenda y Beth. You there too? Hello, Brenda. How are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. How do you feel today? Hello. Yes, yes, teacher. Ah, okay. How, how do you feel? How do you feel? Tell me. Yeah. Okay, Natalie, Natalie. Hello, Natalie. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How do you feel today? Excuse me? How do you feel today? How are you? Oh. How are you today? I'm very nice. Okay. Hacerlo, a intentarlo de nuevo. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Thank you. Okay, here we go. What about the rest? Let me see. Anna Victoria is there. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Don Jose Alejandro apareció. Okay. Ahí. Aquí estamos presentes, teacher. Okay, perfecto. Bueno, ya, ya Melanie ya logró estabilizar su cámara porque le estábamos viendo tres imágenes en una. Ya, ya subo ya. Ok, uh, Ingrid. How do you feel, Ingrid? Welcome. Hello, thank you, teacher. Did you, did you see you again? Yeah. Ismael, are you there? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Emerson, what about you? Eddie, are you there? Hello, Hello, teacher. Welcome. Welcome. A pleasure to see you again. Okay, let me shift out the attendance now. I guess I already have a, more than 14. Okay, let me see here.
Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay, here we go, here we go. You Okay, Alejandra Elizabeth, are you there? Hello. Ana Victoria. Present teacher. Present. Okay. Okay. Welcome. Uh, Asalia Melanie Portillo. I saw it there. Say hello, say hello, please. Brenda Yvette. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Okay, Brenda Natalie Punes, are you there? Present teacher. Welcome. Carlos Eliasap is there too. Say hello, say hello, please. Hello, teacher. I'm here. Okay, welcome. Eh, Diana Janet, Jamilet, perdón. Present teacher. Edith. Present. Ok, welcome. Um, Emerson. Emerson Adiel. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Francisco Javier. Present. Welcome. Ingrid Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Ismael de Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Jose Alejandro. I present teacher. Okay. Um, Julia Janet. Not here. Mayra Elizabeth. Mayra. Mayra. Present teacher. Okay. Present, present teacher. Okay. Noea Milcar. Hello, present teacher. Okay, Mayra, welcome. 
Noé Amilcar. Not here. Sandra Iber. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Uh, Sonia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, thank you. Teacher, I I can hear you, teacher. My microphone is mute. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, welcome again. It is a pleasure to see to see you. Uh, we are going to start with the uh, module uh, module two, and uh, we need to clarify maybe some information that you already know, but uh, I'm going to show you here in order that you can have uh, an idea related with this. Okay, we are going to mention all this information. Voy a mencionar esta información que eh, generalmente eh, ya la tenemos porque ya la vimos en, los módulos, en el módulo anterior. Vamos a hacer alguna lectura. Eh, tranquilos acá con las fechas porque la fecha de inicio es, no es precisamente esa eh, sabemos que la fecha de inicio será el día de hoy 27 y de acuerdo a la programación que les han enviado finalizamos en qué fecha eh, de, de abril según lo que ustedes tienen ahí Hola. Hola. 
No nos han dado fecha, creo, de finalización. No les aparece. Solo... Teacher, yo tengo una duda con eso, porque no sé si tendría que ver si vamos a hacer pausa la próxima semana o no, y tal vez por eso no nos han dado la fecha de finalización. Ah, ok. Sí, he estado, eh, estoy revisando y he estado consultando y no nos han dado, eh, yo sí, en lo personal le pedí que me dieran esas fechas, pero estoy revisando y no las tenemos. Bueno, la información del correo que sí tengo, eh, ahí sí me aparece una fecha. Ahorita se las comparto para estar seguro. Realmente con la cuestión de la vacación no, no tengo como una idea en específico, pero al menos la información que tengo en mi correo es que iniciamos el día de hoy y concluimos el 28 de abril. Esa es la... la la fecha que tengo acá. ¿Sí? Entonces, okay, vamos a tomar este, esa, esa, esa fecha para poder tener como una idea de, de, de lo que vamos a... ¿A dónde nos vamos a mover? Porque eh, hasta ahorita, sí... A ciencia y a cierta no tenemos, al menos yo no tengo una que me digan, mire, eh, la vacación va a ser de esta fecha a esta fecha. No, no, no tengo eso. Entonces ahorita les comparto ahí. ¿Por qué pedí que me dieran eso para poder establecer las semanas? Pero no, no se pudo. No se pudo tener. Entonces, vamos a compartir lo que ahorita, si tenemos en el transcurso de la semana, vamos a ir ordenando eso. Bien, ahí tenemos las fechas. Eh, es necesario obtener el 80% del promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. Eh, imagino que a estas alturas ya les enviaron un link donde ustedes van a poder dar el clip y accesar a ella. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a INSAFOR semanalmente, la fecha límite para terminar el examen midterm. Bueno, aquí aparece fecha límite, pero nosotros aquí eh, prácticamente si trabajásemos, eh, ¿cómo les digo? Esto se hace en la segunda semana de, de, del módulo. Aquí yo tengo la fecha de inicio, pero eh, el midterm sería como en la segunda semana. Y ahí la fecha límite para la cuestión del final sería como el 28 de abril. El manual lo puedes descargar en la plataforma, como ya lo hemos dicho antes. Algo importante es el nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. En el caso de oyentes, si es que hubiese, agregar la palabra oyente. Eso ya lo conocemos. Luego su nombre. Eh, mantener la cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Esto en el módulo anterior sí nos dio como cierto problemita porque eh, no sé si lo que sucedía era que se les activa y no se dan cuenta o no sé qué es lo que sucedía, pero siempre eh, pasaba algo ahí que a alguien se le activaba el micrófono. Entonces hoy vamos a tener un poco más de cuidado en eso para que nos evitemos ahí el, 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 el ruido, ¿sí?
ahí les voy a agradecer bastante que me ayuden en eso. Eh, ¿Qué más? Minimizar el sonido y hasta participación activa. Siempre les he dicho que es necesario que podamos eh, desarrollar nuestras habilidades a través de la participación. Eso es muy importante. Y lo que ya pues, hemos mencionado también. Asistencia al 100% de las clases, cumplir con los 120 minutos. Eh, eso va a generar una asistencia activa por cada sesión. La asistencia ya sabemos que se toma dos veces. La mínima 8.20 y la otra pues ahí por 9.40 quizá. Eh, algunas veces yo no lo hago a esa hora porque eh, algunos después de que se les pasa lista tienden a como a salirse. Entonces a veces por eso lo dejo en los últimos minutos. Se tomará como válido. Oiga esto por favor. Al escuchar al participante decir presente y tener cámara encendida. Eso sí es muy importante. Luego, eh, la siguiente parte sería la sesión uno a uno. Eso ya sabemos que lo que tenemos... Ahí son 10 minutos para poder hacer las preguntas necesarias de lo que no comprendamos. Y eh, eso se hace al final de cada clase. Les voy diciendo con anticipación. Algo que debemos de tener claro es también la última parte. ¿Qué, qué dice acá alguien que me lea esto, por favor? Hola. Permisos no disponibles. Vale. ¿Qué significa eso? Yo creo que ya no está de más estar eh, haciendo como demasiado amplio. Eh, significa que usted tiene que cumplir para que pueda tener eh, esa asistencia siempre. Bien, algo que también debemos de tener muy claro es el botón silencio o el mute, donde está ubicado la cámara, el chat. Cuando se le generen breakout rooms, también eh, le voy a pedir de favor que aceptemos la invitación para que podamos participar con nuestro compañero. Ahí también tenemos un botón que se llama Ask for Help. Si usted tiene alguna duda, algún problema, usted presiona ese botón. Inmediatamente me llega la notificación y yo trato de resolverle lo que le está sucediendo. Y algo importante, eh, el respeto ante todo al momento que cada uno de ustedes vaya haciendo sus aportes, sus participaciones, debemos de hacerlo con el respeto de vida. Ahora aquí tenía ya eh, las semanas, al menos eh, esta que eh, la que iniciamos. Tenemos claro las fechas. Eh, ya en la siguiente, lamentablemente no he eh, consultado, pero eh, no, no se ha podido. Entonces, por eso no hice las modificaciones necesarias para poderles eh, mostrar cómo está distribuido. Solamente tenemos que sería la, la última semana de abril que sería cuando estu eh, estaremos haciendo la finalización del de, de módulo. Entonces, ah, basado en eso, estaríamos entrando a, al desarrollo de el, de el manual que, que ya tenemos. Eh, si alguien ya bajó ese, ese manual, me gustaría que lo compartiese. No sé, bueno, no he visto eh, mi, mi, mi WhatsApp. No sé si ya lo compartió alguien por ahí. Por si hay alguno que no lo tenga, eh, que de una vez se comparta. 
Y si no, pues ahorita yo mismo lo voy a poner ahí. Le da la imagen para el minuto. Un par de segunditos para poderse los compartir. Sí, era una pregunta. Dígame. Fíjese que hay ocasiones en las que yo me conecto de dos dispositivos. Actualmente estoy en el celular por la cámara y tengo mi computadora de escritorio, pero no siempre le funciona la cámara. Entonces, no sé si hay inconvenientes si cuando tengamos que trabajar más con el manual, me conecte desde los dos dispositivos. En uno para tener la cámara encendida y en el otro para poder tener más amplitud al momento de desarrollar el manual y porque la pantalla del teléfono pues es un poco más pequeña, ¿verdad? No sé si habrá inconveniente sí. por eso. No, eh, ahí lo único que le voy a pedir es que al momento de crear Breakout Room eh, me lo avise porque eh, como uno toma como el, el, el de acuerdo al número de, de dispositivos que hay. Ok, sí, sí, igual me pasaba en el módulo sí. anterior, más que todo para no quedar en dos salas diferentes. Sí, Siempre entonces. Estar en es, la misma. Sí, eso es necesario que me lo vaya diciendo para, eh, para saber exactamente cómo, cómo vamos a, a, a distribuirlo, porque eso yo necesito eh, solo que me acuerde nada más. De ahí lo demás okay. no nos va a generar ningún inconveniente. Ok, bueno, muchas gracias. Eh, Ok, he compartido con ustedes ahí en el grupo ya el módulo, ahí está. Si alguien no lo tenía, ahorita mismo puede incluso ya alojarlo en su, en su ordenador, en su laptop, en donde usted considere conveniente. Y eh, pues ya con ello tenemos la oportunidad de que lo que vayamos viendo ustedes eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Van a poder ir ampliando sus conocimientos ahí, en, en, precisamente en ese, en, en ese manual. Espero que ya todos lo hayan descargado. Voy a mostrarlo. Eh. Un segundito, por favor. Okay, let me share it with you uh, in order that you can see it. Of course, I know that you're ready.
Okay, we have it here. This is the map of the book. Um, the unit one that you are going to start today, uh, the name is World Related Event. The second one is ongoing activities at the workplace. And number three, a special event at the workplace. And number four, tech support. Uh, these are the names of the unit that we are going to start today. And this is the top part that we are going to start. As you can see there, uh, we have a question. What are the three first things you do on Monday? And how many times a day do you check your email? It is a question that you have there. But let me stop here and I need to read something else. Let me show you my presentation that I have here, I have it here. Okay, this is the name of the, the first unit, as I told you, work-related event. What, what is the meaning in Spanish? Will you tell me? Hello. Tell me, tell me. Sería como la unidad uno lo relata los eventos de tu trabajo, ¿verdad? Uh, yeah, could be in that way. Could be in that way. Work related event. Aquí para hacer la traducción al español comenzamos de la última palabra. Y terminamos al final, back, from back to work. Event. Eventos en el trabajo, relacionados al trabajo. Ok, perfecto. Ok, this is our general objective. Um, somebody wants to read it? Ok, I'm going to read it. Participants will develop competencies that will allow them to describe activities and events at the workplace in face-to-face -face and telephone conversation with other in work situation. Esta es como el objetivo general. Se pretende que todos ustedes desarrollen competencias que les permitan describir actividades y eventos en su lugar de trabajo, ya sea estando así cara a cara o, de, o cerca o de frente y a través de conversaciones telefónicas con otros eh, en situaciones de trabajo. Eso es como la, el, el objetivo general. Ok, and we already have an specific objective. Participants will be able to describe regular activities in the workplace. Reason, you are going to describe regular activities in your workplace. Vamos a, a ustedes deben de ser capaces de describir actividades regulares en su lugar de trabajo. Eso es lo, lo principal. Y this is the objective for today. Participants will be able to use simple present statement. This is the topic for today. Uh, the one that is uh, stay with me at the module one, we, we talk about this topic. And I guess that you remember something related to this. Quienes estuvieron conmigo en el módulo anterior, vimos algunas partes relacionadas a este tema. So, I guess uh, that you are going to be able to tell me Okay, um, when we talk about a simple present statement, somebody can tell me, what do you understand about? Cuando yo hablo del presente, el simple present o el presente simple, oraciones en presente simple, ¿a qué me refiero? Eso lo vimos en la clase, en el módulo anterior, pero eh, quiero estar seguro de que, de que sí lo recuerden. Ok, 
¿no? Aló. Hello. Estamos buscando, teacher, los apuntes. Ah, ok, no problem. If you don't have it there, I'm going to give you a hand. Si no los tienen ahí, tranquilos, eh, les vamos a dar ahí como una idea. Presente simple. Este, oraciones en presente simple. Y yo, yo encontré una, pero no sé si sea. Ok, chao, chao. Dice, I good, good, cool. Ok, re, re, repeat again, please. I good, good, cool. Of course. C-O-O-Q. Ok, ok. Cook. 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 Ok. Ok, when we talk about uh, simple present is when somebody talk about the present, the same word say, and explain that way. For example, um, I said, she works in the city hall of San Salvador. Esa es una oración en presente simple. She works in the city hall of San Salvador. Ahí estoy haciendo uso del presente simple. Por ejemplo, usted dice, I go to bed at uh, 10. Ahí está haciendo eh, uso del presente simple también. But, easy. Teacher, ¿sería correcto decir I go to the work at 6.30 para usarlo como un, una oración del presente simple? I go to work. I go to work. I go to work. It's going to be better. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Right here, I, I need somebody... Mm -hmm. I need that somebody help me reading this, please. Only one, only one. Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay, do it, do it, do it. The simple pleasure. Present can be used to refer to the action with a curve at a regular interval. Ah, okay. The simple present can be used to refer to action which occur at a regular interval. El presente simple puede ser usado para referirse a acciones las cuales suceden o ocurren en intervalos irregulares de tiempo. Al momento que estamos hablando, por ejemplo, uh, I can show you something here. Okay, who wants to read this? ¿Alguien me ayuda por favor leyendo eso? Rita, teacher English. Uh, College Bertis free time a week. Okay, this is Rita teaches English at the Colegio Bertis three times a week. Sí. Ahorita no nos centremos en, en, en las palabras que aparecen acá, sino en la acción donde dice Rita teaches English. See? Do you remember the reason why uh, 
we have ES and this verb. Ah, okay, because we are talking about third singular person, right? Okay, very good. Veo que si sí, nos recordamos de unas reglitas que hay por ahí. That is really important that you keep in mind. Okay, who wants to read this? And things in the school show shine. Okay. Okay, the same. Why do we have an S right here? Porque tenemos eh, una S ahí. Porque igual es tercera persona, verdad? Ah, because we are still talking about. Because uh, talking about a uh, person. The third singular person. Third singular person. Yes. That is the reason. Okay, for the reason uh, we can read this sentence in this way, unseen in the school fires. Okay, what about this one? Who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Daniel. Daniel. Okay. Yes. Daniel always sleeps during his ma math class. Okay. Math, 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 math class. Okay. Math class. Daniel always sleeps during his math class. ¿Qué, ¿Qué sucede con Daniel? John? Él siempre se duerme sobre su libro de matemáticas. Ah, oh, ok, perfecto. No, 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 durante la clase de matemáticas. Okay. Perfecto. Ajá. Ahí está. Okay, now that you uh, have some ideas about what we are talking about, do you consider that uh, you can create your own sentences? Okay, let, let us see this one. Okay, I need a volunteer who wants to read the first one. This is gonna be third, second, third, and fourth. Four different people. Necesito cuatro diferentes que me ayuden a leer, por favor. Ok, chao. Hello. Hello. Okay. She usually works on her basket after dinner. Mm. She usually works on her basket after dinner. Listen again. She usually wears on her basket after dinner. Okay, what, what is that? Tell me. Do you know what is the meaning of the word basket? Take a look at the picture and you are going to get some ideas. An Aston. Ah, could be. But what happened with her? ¿Qué, qué, qué sucede con ella? 
¿Qué es lo que ella hace? Chaume. Usualmente lo realiza luego de la cena, se me entiendo. Ah, ok. Ok, the second one, who wants to read it? I don't know if you can see it very well. Let me see. Ok, who wants to read it? Hello. Tell me the second one. Okay, Ana Victoria. He usually drinks tea after a meal. Okay, he usually he usually drinks tea after a meal. Okay. Third one. Thank you. Third one, please. They go to a dance every Sunday. Okay, they go to a dance every Sunday. I start out as simple. They go to a dance every Sunday. And the last one? <laughs> the last one? Who wants to read the last one? They take. A walk with your son every day. Okay, they take a walk with their son every day. Listen again. They take a walk with their son every day. See? What is the meaning? Ellos uh, salen a caminar todos los días con sus hijos. Okay, perfect. A eso nos referimos en el, en el, en el presente signo. A eso nos referimos. Okay, imagine uh hold on a second. But I ask you to, to put in order, to rearrange this word in order to create sentences. Imagínense que yo les doy estas, tres, estas dos palabras o tres palabras in order that you can create sentences. Para que usted pueda crear ya sea una oración o, bueno, depende en este caso uno. And uh, based on the picture, what I'm going to do is just to uh, put... Uh, a personal pronoun here, he, he runs, then I'm going to use an S because I'm talking about uh, their singular person. And also, uh, according to the picture, I'm going to add something else. He runs to school every day. And what about this one? Do every day. She does. Remember that she does her homework every day. What is the meaning of this one? Ella. Ella. Ella hace su tarea. Hace sus tareas. Sí. Every day, every day. What is the meaning of every day? Bueno, creo que... Oh, okay. No, okay, every day. Okay, okay. Okay, in order that you remember uh, the rules that we have studied, a fin de que ustedes se recuerden de las reglas que hemos estudiado. I'm going to show you something else yeah. in order that you can get familiar with it. 
Me recuerdo sí, que... Me Hola. Hola, díganos. No, es que cambié este, manos libres porque no me escuchaban. Ah, ok. El otro. Ok. Thank you. Y yo dije, ¿qué será lo que le pasó? ¿Qué será lo que le pasó? Es que intenté participar en varias y no pude porque no me escuchaba. Ah, yes. Hasta, de, hasta ahorita me di cuenta que, que eran los... Era el micrófono, el micrófono. Fue don micrófono. Okay, let me show you this in order that you can remember, and then we are going to do something. Uh, related with the topic. I'm going to refresh your memory uh, and later on you are going to be able to create uh, some sentences. Don't forget to take your screenshot in order that you can keep the information with you. Uh, I'm going to refresh your memory about these rules. Okay, the present simple spelling rule. Most verb pays S in the third person singular. La mayoría de los verbos toma S en la tercera persona del singular. Okay, we have the third one. For example, this is the verbal uh, double S, S, H, C, H, X, and O. Uh, we are going to add uh, ES at the end. For example, uh, I miss, he misses, I finish, he finishes, I watch, he watches. I mix, he mixes, I go, he goes. This is the third one. Try to keep in mind. In the second one, uh, a consonant plus Y. For example, we had the consonant here in red, and then we had Y, I study. He studies. I cry. He cries. Okay. And the third one, a vowel plus Y. For example, I play. He plays. Right here, we are going just to add an S. If you want, you can take an, a, a screenshot. Si usted quiere, puede hacer un screenshot para que le quede ahí. Esas tres reglas generales. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here in order that you can uh, understand exactly what I'm saying. Any question? No? Hola, hola, hola. No question, teacher. No question? No. Ah, okay. Okay, right here we have the present simple, he, she, and it spelling. For example, uh, we have infinitive. We call infinitive at this uh, column at the left. I have word, I have play. When we are going to use it with he, she, and it, we are going to at an S, worse place. In the spelling, uh, right here said at an S, agregue una S, okay? Let us try to use these two verbs first. 
Usemos estos dos verbos, were and play. Okay, let me see your faces. Okay, who wants to create? Okay, you are going to create one sentence using I, and then you are going to choose uh, he or she, and you are going to create another one. And that way, um, I'm going to see how you use inflection. Van a crear una oración usando el pronombre I, referente a ustedes, y luego eligen cualquiera, ya sea aquí o sea she, para ver el inflection, cómo lo manejamos. Ok, tell me, who wants to tell me that? Hola. Solo son dos verbos. The one that I show you there. Lo que yo mostré. Work and place. Work and play. Tell me. Easy. You don't need to write, write down everything. Uh, just tell me. For example, I can say uh, I work in uh, Universidad de Salvador. Ahí está su oración. But later on, you are going to say she works in Scotia Bank. Ah, okay. Okay, who, who wants to tell me? Don't forget to raise your hand in order to participate. He is placed in the, the basketball. Okay, okay. Re will you repeat again? He is placed. Okay, ahí tendría que decir, he plays, he oh, plays. He plays, okay. Sí. Y uh, also you can say, he plays basketball. Porque si usted me le agrega y dice, he's playing, ahí ya estamos hablando de otro tiempo, que ese sería. No, no, plays, mencioné plays. Okay, sí, sí, no, yo, yo estoy haciendo como... A, agarrando el ejemplo, pero... Eh, Jugando. Sí, entonces ya uh -huh. ahí nos pasamos a otro tiempo. Eso uh -huh. es lo que quería decir. ¿Y este, ¿Tú juegas? ¿Él juega? Sí, él, ahí está en presente. Sí. Ok. Sí, ok. Ok, let us see. Somebody I want to use it. Let me see who wants to do it. Carlos? Mm, um. Uh, I play soccer in the yard every every part every Friday. Okay, yeah, okay. And now using he or she? She. Okay. She. Uh, she plays uh, with your Barbie uh, in your home. Mm, yeah, could be. But it's going to be better if you say, she plays with her party, with her dolls. Ella juega con sus muñecas. Porque si usted me dice, uh, she plays with your, me está diciendo, ella juega con tus. Incluyéndose oh, <laughs> a mí. And I don't have barbies. <laughs> I don't have barbies. Okay, we need to be careful about that. No, car. Yeah, cars. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it? Somebody else? Edmas? Eh, okay, Julia Yaneta apareció. Ahí está. Welcome, Julia. Hello, teacher. Okay, welcome. Nice to see you. Good okay, go ahead. Tell us. Okay. Um, I work in the supermarket, and she works in the factory in textile factory. Okay. She 
Thank you. So Maria wants to do it. Somebody else, somebody else. Again. Um, my brother plays football every month. Okay. Perfect. Somebody else wants to do it. Sí, bien. Hello. Take your mouse. Teacher. Hello. She's playing. Uh, she's uh, playing jumper rope. Jump rope. No sé cómo se dice salta cuerda. Jump rope. Jump rope. Jumper. Jumper. Okay, jumper rope. Okay. Okay, let me switch a little bit. I'm going to share with you a link. Okay, uh, so please click on it and open it. Traten de abrirlo, por favor. Se los envío al chat de, de Zoom. Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Try to resolve. I don't know the rest. Um, this classmate they have the the camera off. Hmm. Y ya me está fallando la cámara, por eso sí. la quito por momentito. Ok, no problem, in your case. Y, um, no puedo abrir el, el link. No, se, no puede. No. ¿Alguien más lo, lo, sí lo pudo hacer? Mi. Oh, I don't know what is happening. Let me show you again. Finish the chat. Okay. We do finish the chat. Okay. Finish the chat.
finish, teacher. Okay. Finish the chart. Okay. Okay, so Maria, all of you, all of you, please. Okay, tell me, what's easy or difficult for you in order to resolve this exercise? ¿Cómo lo sentimos? ¿Fácil o complicado? Fácil. Really easy, right? Easy. Okay, in order to continue, um,
Okay, another uh, use for the simple present is also using uh, the same general truth. This is like uh, the second one. For example, we can say the air goes around the sound. También vamos a usar el presente simple para hablar de, de, de realidades, de cosas reales. For example, this one, the air goes around the sun. La tierra va alrededor del sol. Como acá estoy hablando de tercera persona, entonces siempre hago in inflection. El verbo es go, pero en este caso, como la regla me dice que termina en o, we are going to add es. For the reason, I'm going to say the air goes around the sun. Or I can say bear flies. Bears fly. Es una oración tan corta, pero ¿qué, qué nos dice? Pájaro vuela, teacher. Ah, que los pájaros vuelan. Entonces, eh, es una realidad, ¿no? Por eso lo usamos de esa forma. Another way is this one. Who wants to read this one? ¿Quién, quién quiere leer? Okay, do it. Water uh, freeze or freeze at twenty twenty two, perdón, at thirty two degrees. Okay. Será cierto eso? ¿Qué dice él? El agua, sí. ¿Qué pasa con el agua? Está congelada a 30 grados centígrados. No será que se congela. El agua se congela. ¿A cuántos grados dice? 32. Ah, ok, se congela a 32 grados. ¿Eso es un invento o es realidad? It's a liar. You said reality, right? 32, pero no, creo que no son grandes. Eh, eh, no tendrían que ser... Eh, no son centígrados, sino que son Fahrenheit. Ah, ok. Sí, es diferente. Totally different. Fahrenheit and, yeah, it's, and it's Celsius is, is not the same. Ok, for example, this one. Triangles have three sides. ¿Será eso cierto o no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Right. Ah, okay, can see sí, los triángulos tienen tres lados. Okay. Perfect. And also we have uh, something else. In addition, the simple present is used when referring to printed material and when we describe an events portrayed uh, in a book, film, or another work. Of art. El presente simple también puede referirse eh, a material impreso donde se describen eventos que están plasmados en libros, en películas o en otra eh, parte o trabajo de arte. También yes. para eso nos, nos va a servir. Por ejemplo, a NASA Star Come Down to Mars Mission. ¿Qué nos dice esa? 
¿Qué sucede? Las misiones en la NASA. ¿Qué hace la NASA? Chum. Misiones en Marte. Hola, hola. ¿Qué pasa con la NASA? Hola. ¿Qué significa star? Estrella. Mm. Empezar. Ah, okay. Iniciar. Sí, entonces, entonces, ¿qué nos está diciendo? Inicia como una, un conteo regresivo para una misión en Marte. Ok, la NASA dice... Ha iniciado el conteo regresivo para la misión que va hacia dónde? Hacia Marte. Ok, por eso, como es eh, la NASA, es una institución de tercera persona, entonces por eso usa inflections. Aquí agrega S. Ok, and now take a look. Formation of the simple present. How we are going to do it. The simple present is formed uh, from the verb infinitive of the verb. As shown in the following example, the verb infinitive of verb consists of the infinitive without the word to. We present the simple form of the infinitive of each one of the verbs, como se muestra in the siguiente ejemplos. El infinitivo de los verbos consiste o se hace sin la palabra to. Ok. We have it here, infinity. We, we say to be is infinity. Bare infinity, we don't have the, the, la partícula to. We don't have it there. That is why we call it in this way. We have to walk. Right here, work. To work, work. That is why we call bare infinity. And right here, for example, the simple present of the verb to work is conjugated as follows. El presente simple del verbo trabajar se conjuga de la siguiente manera. I work. You work, he works, she works, it works, we work, they work. Okay, take a look at that. The form of the verb used with the subject he, she, and it is generally referred to as the third person singular, as I told you before. That means that only yes in these three ones, we are going to use inflection. Solo vamos a usar inflection aquí, he and she and it. El resto usa eh, lo mismo, ¿sí? Okay, I need, I need, let me see. Seven different uh, volunteers who wants to create one sentence uh, for each personal pronoun. Necesito siete diferentes personas voluntarias que me creen una oración con cada uno de los pronombres. El primero que hable, lógicamente, me va a crear una usando I work. El segundo, you work. El tercero, he works, pero necesito que me le pongan complemento a la oración hasta llegar a day work. Okay, let me stop my screen. Okay, who, who wants to start? My name is Wesley. Okay, who wants to start with the program? Can you initiate con la primera? Vamos, vamos, vamos. Come on, you can do it. I work. In the hair, the Hancock Bexton. 
Okay. That's it. Thank you. Next. Siguiente, rapidito, rapidito. In a hurry, in a hurry. Come on, you can do it. ¿Quién continúa con el siguiente, con la siguiente, por favor? Uh, you work with my little brother. Okay, you work with your little brother. Okay, next, next. Sí, Mayra. Um, he worked in the pharmacy. Okay. Thank you. Next. Me teacher. Ah, uh, okay, Atalia, do it. Uh, she worked in an office. She works in an office. Okay. Next. Your teacher. Okay. Natalie. We were in an office. Okay, we were. Okay. Next one. And then they um they work at the restaurant. Okay, they were in, they were in the restaurant. Okay. We were a driver. We were a driver. As a driver. As a driver. See? Okay. Something that you need to remember with the previous uh, sentence. The, you need to remember how or when we are going to use in, on, and at. Because it's different when I say she works in a restaurant or she is at the restaurant. It's different, right? Okay, thank you. Let us continue. Okay, spell and roll for the third uh, person singular. We already talked about this, but let me show you. Okay, in order that you keep in mind. Okay, I need that somebody read the first one. Necesito que alguien me lea la primer parte, por favor. Yes, do it. Some birds change their spelling by just adding S to their bar infinite word show. Okay. Some birds change their spelling by just adding S to their bare infinite. Yeah, uh, I already explained you. When I use the word bare infinite, that means that we don't have the particular two. Cuando no tenemos la partícula tú, es que hacemos uso del very infinite, ¿ok? Ok, the second one. Who wants to read it? Ok, I'm going to read it. When a bear ends in Y preceded by a vowel, just at S, for example, play, enjoy, and buy. Ahí tenemos tres ejemplos. Cuando un verbo finalice en Y precedida de una vocal, just at S, simplemente agreguele una S. ¿Dónde tengo eh, la vocal? Justamente acá, play, play. Enjoy, ahí está la vocal, by, ahí está la vocal. When the verb ends in Y preceded by a consonant, cut the Y and add I, E, S. For example, study, studies, worry, worries, carry, carries. 
cuando un verbo finaliza en Y precedida por una consonante, drop o cut the Y and add I y S. ¿Qué es lo que debemos de hacer? Cambiar la Y y luego agregar I y S. Lo mismo sucede con nosotros. Ejemplo. Y la última. When the verb ends in double S, S, H, C, H, X, N, C, or O, just add E, S. For example, go, goes, teach, teaches, wash, watches, watch, watches, fix, fixes, bus, buzzes. Okay, but Okay, we are going to, uh, to hurry up because of the time. We go to the school bus. Okay, listen and practice. This is a daily routine. I don't remember if I took this in the, in the previous module, but if I did, I'm going to, to give you the chance to remember. Okay, say what time does team listen and, 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 and clear the right word. Okay, who wants to resolve this? Say what time does team dash? Okay, according to the picture, uh, what is he doing? ¿Qué, ¿Qué está haciendo él de acuerdo a la imagen? Wait up. Okay, but we need to use all these uh, sound words in this in order to create the the sentence. How can I uh, can I start uh, building my sense? ¿Cómo, cómo puedo hacer para comenzar a construir mi, mi relación aquí? He, he, okay, he wakes, wakes, wakes. This one or this one? Yes. Wait. This one? Wait. Wakes. No, wait. No. Wait. Oh. Wait. Wait. Okay. Wait. Up. Up. Okay. He wakes up. Okay. Early. Uh, Early? Yes. Okay, let us check. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Something went wrong right there. Let, let me try to do it again. I don't know what is happening. Okay, then we to say he weighs up. Early, right? If I click right here, okay, think you are right. He wakes up every uh, very early, very early. You miss the word very, right? See, le hizo falta la palabra very, okay. What about this? Try to do it. First of all, uh, take a look of. Uh, She. 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 Face. Face. What else? Does it? Hands. Okay. Okay. Let us check. Okay. She washes her face. Okay. Bingo. What about this one? Tell me. He, she, he, 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 he,
She lost her word teacher. Excuse me? Se perdieron las letras. He eats. He eats. Break fat. Break fat. Okay, breakfast. And cereals. And Cereal. Um, in cereals. In cereals. Are you sure? In cereals. Uh, you sure? Mm. Mm, no. No. So, in that one, it's not working. So no. cereal. Cereals. Cereals. It's a cereal. Okay, let us check. Ah, yes. oh. take a look at that. He has cereals for breakfast. That is the reason why it disappeared, the word that we have here. Because it's not eat. Okay, be careful about that. What about this one? Come. <clears throat> They. They wash. They. They wash. Brush it. Okay, the third he's, one is. He's too. They. Okay, they. Wash. Wash thing. Wash thing. Watch. Uh uh. Oh, uh oh. It's not, it's not, not what? Brush. Yeah, brush it. Mm. Brush it. Brush it. Yeah. This one or this one? No, brush, brush it. Brush. Brush. Yeah, that, that is the reason why. This one or this one? Brush. Brush. Take a look at the personal plan on here. Ok, veamos, veamos el pronombre personal que tenemos. En base a eso, incluso veamos las imágenes. Cuando vamos a usar en flex. Sí, uh, brush. Brush, teacher. Because they are not just perfect. Brush. Sí. They brush. Brush. Team. This one. They are. They are. Hit. This one or this one? The second. Hit. Hit. Okay, let us check it. I and breakfast. we miss oh, these two words. They brush their teeth after breakfast. breakfast. Ellos se cepillan sus dientes después del de desayuno. Okay, the simple present is also used in the statement. We already talked about this. I'm going to move it. Uh, we already because have I want the song. Sí, esa ya la habíamos visto. Interferencia. Sí, por ahí está el feedback. Ok, hold on a second. Ok. 
sé qué me sucedió. I'm trying to share something different and it's happening there. No sé qué es lo que sucede porque no está repitiendo lo que ya pasando. Okay, what about this one? Take a look at the picture and say what Sarah does. Tell me. Tell me. She. She does. She does her homework. Make her homework. Okay. Uh, okay. Let us listen first. Oh, we can check it now. She does her homework. Okay, listen. Uh, but I need to, uh, in order that you can listen, I need to share with the audience. She does her homework. Did you hear it? No? No, teacher. Okay. Listen. She does her homework. And now? Yes, right? Yes. Okay, try to resolve this one. Resolvamos esa. Say what set does. Then listen and click the right words. He's talking about set. Okay, tell me. He is friend. He is. He or his? His. He is friend. Mm. If I click right here, take a look what happened. That means that we make a mistake. He. Ah, he. Okay, he. Yeah. Okay. Plays. He plays 
Add can. Add to can. Add can. Será add. Video. Add video. And he plays. Uh, his friends. Uh, he plays uh, with his friends. With friends. Okay, he plays, but something is missing there. Algo falta después de plays. Games. Games. Será games? Ah, okay. And then? Y después? With a friend. With a friend. At home. With? A friend. A friend. Okay, let us check. Take a look. He plays board games. It, we call them that way. Board games with a friend. This is called board games. Okay, what about this one? Say what Paul does. He, he does. He. Okay, 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 okay. He or she or he? He? He. No, he. Okay, he, he. does. Does. He does. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. He clean. He. He. He clean. He cleans. This clean. one cleans. Clean. Clean. Okay. He cleans the his the the after room. I know wrong, wrong. Wrong. The room. The room teacher. Room. Okay, does it? Mm. Yes. Uh, take a look. In the afternoon. Listen. He cleans his room in the afternoon. Okay, read it, read it, read afternoon. it. He cleans his room in the afternoon. The afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay, what about this one? He work he work <clears throat> then she yes. this one work work are you sure stay stay Hey? No. No. This one. This one. Yes. Yes. Okay. He takes a walk in the park. He takes a walk. A walk in the park. In the park. Park. Ah, okay, take a look. He takes the dog for the walk in the park. Okay, hold on, hold on. Aliens are coming. Será que ya vienen los extraterrestres? 
Mm. Okay, listen. He takes his dog for a walk in the park. Four. Okay. What about this one? Say so what Susie does. He's talking about only a Susie. Está hablando solo de Susi. Sí. Okay. Sí. Sí. Ips. Sí. Ips. Sí. Ips. Um, dinner. Sí. Sí. O no. this one. This one or this one? Which one? It. 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 She eats. She With her family. With her family, okay. With her family, okay. Let us check. Dinner. Ah, okay. Dinner with her family. Listen. Eats dinner with her family. Again. She eats dinner with her family. Okay, take a look at this sentence. She eats dinner with her family. Okay, let me see the time. Okay, we are so close to finish. I'm going to stop right here because I need to check out the attendance. As a homework, you are going to have the following sentences. Take a, a, a screenshot, please. <clears throat> okay, hold on a second. Okay. Okay, what you are going to do is that, okay, right here it said that you are going to work in pair, but you are going to do it individually. Look at the sentences, take a screenshot, and discuss the mistakes from the breakout room. We are going to do it tomorrow, but we don't have time now. Share ideas and do your best. What you are going to do, okay, try to uh, take a screenshot of these sentences. Hagan una captura, por favor, de estas oraciones. Y lo que usted va a hacer es eh, corregir si es que hay errores en ellos. And then tomorrow we are going to talk about that. ¿Ya lo hicieron? Si lo hicieron, comparten por favor en el grupo. Ok, thank you very much. And tomorrow we are going to talk about this chart panel section in demand. Y el día de mañana hablamos un poco sobre eh, lo que aparece en la parte primera de el manual que se refiere al tema que hemos visto. Ok, entonces hacemos la asistencia última. Generalmente comenzamos con el 1 a, a uno en orden de lista. Mm. 
Y la primera es Alejandra Elizabeth. No sé si apareció o no apareció. Ok. I'm going to check out the attendance. Voy con la asistencia. Alejandra Elizabeth. Ortega, are you there? No. Y a ella le correspondía el uno a uno el día de hoy. Eh, Ana Victoria. Gracias. Ok, thank you. Um, Asalia. Is there too? Say hello, Asalia. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Brenda Ivet. Brenda Ivet. Ya no está. Present teacher. Ah, ahí está. Perdón, no me había percatado que tenía. Oh, okay. Que no había apagado el teléfono. El micrófono. Ok, Brenda Natalie Funes. Brenda Natalie. Present teacher. Good night. Ok, good night. Uh, Carlos Eliazar is there too. I like it. Okay, Diana Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Edith. Present. Emerson Adiel. Present teacher. Eh, Francisco Javier. It's not here. Ya no está Don Fran. Ingrid Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, Ismael Ernesto. Ismael. Not here. Jose Alejandro. Aquí, teacher. Okay. Julia Janet. Present teacher. Good night. Okay, okay sir. Mayor Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, uh, Noel, Amilcar, hold on a second. Okay, so now here's Sandra, Yvette. I'm here, teacher. And Sonia Esmeralda. Present, teacher. Okay, welcome. Well, as I told before, it's a pleasure to see you again. Um, Tomorrow we are going to continue working uh, and then we are going to use the material in order to clarify some ideas. Okay, agradezco. Eh, muy contento de verles una vez más. Eh, ya el día de mañana tomamos la rutina ya como más rapidita. Hoy, por la información general del curso, siempre sucede. Eh, tratemos de, de no perder ninguna de las sesiones para que todo nos vaya muy bien. Ahí tienen ya el material. Eh, ahorita solamente les queda de tareita que me revisen los errores que hay en esas oraciones. Los comentamos el día de mañana. Let me see the time that we have now. Ok, we are just... Uh, at the right time to finish. Okay, thank you very much. I don't know if you have any questions to follow here. No sé si alguien tiene alguna consulta, duda, pregunta referente al módulo. Si no la hay, okay, I hope to see you tomorrow at the same time. Okay, good night and bye-bye. Take care. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night everybody. Good night. Good night. tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Alejandro, Alejandro. Aquí estamos, teacher. No, no sé qué es lo que le hace feedback. Si es, si es que tiene un radio operador cerca. No, no, no es nada. 
no tengo nada. Solo mi cuaderno y mi lápiz nomás. De veras, pero fíjese que hay una frecuencia que se... Que se no sé, tal vez será... Mientras abre el micrófono, entra una frecuencia, no sé qué será. ¿Está desde un teléfono o desde una computadora? No, es un teléfono, chico. Ah, ok. Pero no está Ajá. en el trabajo. No, 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 no. Estoy en mi casa. Cuando estoy en mi trabajo, yo le digo, teacher, sí, estoy en mi sí. trabajo y solo voy a tener la cámara apagada. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, ¿alguna frecuencia ahí donde, por donde está? Hay una frecuencia porque eso es lo que hace interferencia. Pues ahorita sí. ninguna, teacher. O sea, ahorita no, mire, pero de repente se, se, se cruza. Ah, quizá por, por el teléfono, quizás. Ah, ya vamos a revisar este lado, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you Gracias, igual, teacher. Ok, good, good night, night, teacher. Bye, bye. Good night. Bueno, quien le correspondía el uno a uno no se hizo presente el día de hoy.